Tonight, we are getting more insight into the staffing situations at our schools. It seems teacher shortages are a perennial problem, but now there's a bit of promising news. Yep, Tamara Lopez spent the day reviewing a new report that we have on those teacher openings. What do you know, Tamara? Tessa, Ryan, teacher openings are down 34% this year. Now, that's according to the New Mexico Educator Vacancy Report. And I spoke with one superintendent who points to a reason why he's seeing more teachers. You know, if anyone's interested, we're still hiring, and, and uh, you know, I think we're pretty competitive with our pay. Brian Luck is the superintendent at Roswell Independent School District. He says the district has less teacher openings than last year. I would say it's gone down. Uh, I would say anywhere from, you know, uh, 10 to 15 teaching vacancies, uh, which is pretty big. In a new teacher vacancy report from New Mexico State University, it shows that Albuquerque Public Schools has 159 openings, Santa Fe Schools has 123, Alamogordo has 39, Roswell has 35, and Hobbs rounds out the top five here with 34 teacher openings. Rachel Boren is the director of SOAR Evaluation and Policy Center at NMSU. She says in the three years she's been running the report, the numbers are always fluctuating. We saw last year that there were over a thousand teacher openings. This year it dropped to 690, so a decrease is always encouraging to report. We like sharing that news. Luck says the reason for this decrease in openings is mostly due to the state teacher pay increase. It's been a huge factor in filling those open positions. What I have run into though are several teachers that have said, um, you know, I was about to, I was about to go. I was about to, to put in my retirement papers and I, I'd like to stick it out you know, a couple more years because of what the, the pay scale has done. Also saying some teachers have come back from retirement too. Luck says his district still has most openings in special education, which according to the report is a need across the state. We've seen continued needs in elementary education and special education in particular, pre-pandemic, during the pandemic, and now. Um, and so, and then math, science, and English language arts are still the top areas of need in terms of subjects. Also, according to the report, there are 193 special education openings across the state, and we will have that full report for you on KOV.com. Tessa, back to you. Tamara, thanks so much.